The Dakar on Snow jump show of the race Toregs was certainly impressive, marking the official send-off for the Volkswagen team, heading to the Dakar rally in South America. The Austrian police officers kept an eye on things and were amazed at some of the stunts the drivers got up to. Volkswagen's Chris Neeson, head of the motor racing division, invited the officers for a cup of tea, but they turned it down, apologetically. They were, after all, on duty. Full speed through the snow, with the blessing of the police. What could be more fun? Not much time now, though, before the start of the rally itself. But the man in charge is giving his team a few days off, so they will have a moment for reflection. We still have Christmas, but after that things will really get going. We start on the 1st and end on the 17th of January. The Austrian village of Flachau is all Christmassy in its cloak of snow. Most drivers are happy to have a change from the sand and dust they will be facing in South America. You don't, never snow in Brazil, never, never. No, actually, uh, we enjoy here, you know, in the snow, and uh, it's uh, similar uh, like uh, sand dunes, you know. Either way, the rally warriors guide their race tour eggs around the course as if in their sleep, which is just as well because they could be encountering alpine conditions in South America too. We're expecting temperatures to drop to about 5 or 10 degrees centigrade when we're crossing the mountain passes at altitudes of 4,500 meters, but otherwise they'll be around 25 to 30 degrees centigrade. Basically though, drivers have to be able to tackle any conditions they may encounter. Carlos Sainz is a very successful example. So it doesn't matter where you drive, you don't care? No. You're always fast? Always flat. <laughs> The cheerful atmosphere of the Volkswagen team send-off in Flachau may be a slight distraction from what the drivers will soon be facing. More than two weeks of gruelling racing, the Dakar, perhaps the last adventure still left in the world.